What up, y'all? Uh, can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you can, uh, if y'all can hear me. All right, so what's up, y'all? So I um, hope y'all are off to a great Tuesday morning. Uh, I sure am. I've already had my workout, uh, getting ready to start my day. Uh, what up, Zabo? But um, I wanted to come on here for, for a little bit to just kind of do like a recap or a part two of my, um, my versus recap. Um, for those of you that don't know, I... Um, the day after the verses, I did a recap on my live where I talked for like 30 minutes and I talked about uh, just my assessment of what I felt like the verses was or was lacking. What up, Fred? Or uh, just my assessment. Um, and I did that in the space of being a fan, right? A lot of times people don't follow along when it comes to a person of influence who is an artist uh, but also needing to understand that because I'm just because I'm an artist does not mean that I'm not a fan and so when I went on and did my recap of the verses it was me primarily in my fan bag however understanding that you know when we sign up to be an artist and a person of influence you got to always be mindful of what you say um, and so my live was a 30 minute live and you know certain blogs got it and they took you know, one statement and made it into a headline a clickbait to get people to click on to cause um, all of this banter um, and it caused um, some discomfort with the relationships of my friends now the way that I was raised you know my mom always taught me where you show out is where you get showed out. And for those that don't understand that, it simply means if you're in Walmart and you cut up, well, you're going to get cut up in Walmart. And so because I made the recap, I did the recap here on live, I felt it necessary to come back on live and just bring some clarity um, and then also, also extend an apology. I'm never the guy that's above reproach. I'm never the guy that is... Um, um, I'm, uh, I'm never the guy that, you know, can't be talked to um, and given a different vantage point. I'm never the guy that is um, closed to my team that I have empowered to check me when necessary to offer a different vantage point, a different opinion uh, when necessary. Uh, and so, although I will never retract what I said in my assessment because I still feel that way. Everything that I said, I feel 100% still connected to. I do think they did not represent uh, the, the R&B male genre properly. And everything else I said, I, I, I still stand by it. However, the part that hindsight 2020 makes me uh, feel like I should have done better was I should have had a conversation uh, I would I would have wanted or wished that I had a conversation first uh, first to my friends before coming on a, 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 a public platform and I know some of you may not agree some of you are just stuck on well Q you were spitting facts and I believe I was spitting facts as well however the one thing that I do understand about this game is it's relationship based. No amount of money can um, take the place of strong relationships. And uh, I'm the big brother to a lot of those guys. And uh, I spoke to one of them who just basically said, man, uh, it was just hurtful to see you on live first. You could give your opinion, you, you feel what you feel, but you my friend, you could have called me first. 
And even some of the comments said that also, like, Q, why come on the platform? Because at that, at that point, it questions my integrity as if I'm coming on here for some fans, for some followers, for some hype, for some clout, which which to know me, no, I don't really do this industry like that. I, I, I could care less if I'm in the know, if I'm in the tabloids, if I'm in the news, if I'm the hot topic, if I'm relevant. That, none of that matters. And so when that's questioned, it makes me have to sit back, do a self-assessment, look at myself in the mirror and say, hey, could you have done something differently? Because I'm the type of person that I'm going to look inward first before I start pointing the finger. How could you have How could you have altered the outcome, Q? What could you have done? You're responsible for your part. Um, and again, I will reiterate, I don't change what I felt. I don't care. I, I don't change what how I felt because as a fan I still feel that way and as the older brother and as an elder statesman and as an OG I still feel like what I witnessed wasn't exemplary to me just my opinion um, but on Tuesday morning I care about how my relationship is with Bobby I care about how my relationship is with Pleasure as well as Sammy um, in no way I know they know me man I'm, I'm not the guy to um be rude or I'm, I'm never that guy to go toward the fight I'm, I'm, I'm easy like Sunday morning man I'm I'm, 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 I'm that guy uh, but again I care about my friends and so um, I've had an opportunity to speak to a few of them uh, to express that and I and I actually heard them out and after hit after having conversations I now have a bigger understanding of all of what was going on there that made it difficult for them to be at their best um, and so I have a better understanding. However, I still feel like through adversity, we don't allow anything to alter how we are and who we are. Right? The way that I was raised, man, is it could be storming outside. Never let the elements or anything of your surroundings make you change who you are. And I stand by that and I share that with them. Uh, but at the end of the day, the one thing that I could not get around, I could not skate around, I could not try to give an excuse was, but Q, you could have called me first. And for me, that's the part that hit my heart. Because as an OG, I, I do care about the next generation. Um, and in my mind, I, I, I allowed the fan Q Parker to speak before the OG and before the friend and big brother to these young talents. Uh, take priority and so the fan in me was quick to respond the fan in me was quick to show the disappointment um, however I understand man that when you are in certain positions and, and, and to be honest with you I know better because I know about media training I know be careful what you say don't give the blogs clickbait so they can extract one statement or one sentence out of a 30 minute I know better than that and so I put myself in, in that in harm's way for them to get it that way. And so I asked myself, Q, imagine if a good friend of yours had something to say about what you did. How would you feel if they didn't come to you first and you just wake up one day and see them talking about you on the blogs I, or in social media? I wouldn't I wouldn't like that. And so, again, I'm not going to continue beating a dead horse. Um, I hope that I'm able to speak to all of them whether it's collectively or individually. Uh, and so I'm saying to P, uh, I'm saying to Sammy, uh, I'm saying to Bobby, call me so that we can talk the way that men talk. Uh, and the same way I'm, I'm publicly apologizing because this is the Walmart. I act up in Walmart and so I gotta get it right uh, in front of, in Walmart. Uh, I went on live to say what I said and I'm on live also. Um, making good on that and so to those guys to all of them i apologize that because of our friendship i didn't lean on our friendship first and pick up the phone and call you because here's the thing everything i said on my live i would have said it on the phone with them in the conversation i would have expressed my displeasure i would have talked about what we don't do i would have said i don't think you seized the moment i would have said that wasn't your best vocal performance i would have said everything that i said on the live to them I just regret that I didn't give them the opportunity to hear it from me first and hearing it 
on social media. Uh, and so for that, to my little brothers, to the next generation of R&B artists, man, I sincerely apologize to you, Bobby, to you, Pleasure, to you, Sammy, uh, to you, Jeremiah, to you, Mario, Ray J. Uh, although I didn't speak of all of them, uh, the 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 commentary and my and my recap pertained to all of them, and so I will group them all up into this public uh, apology. Um. But yeah, man, that's it. I, I, I didn't want to be on here long. I just wanted to come. And like I said, my mama taught me what you show out is what you get showed out. And I know that for a fact. Wherever I showed out, that's what I got showed out. Um, and so I did it here. And so I needed to come here and um, speak on it. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, I love y'all. Uh, getting ready to start my day. Man, y'all have an amazing day. Peace, love, and sunlight. Uh, peace, peace, love and sunlight that's my new motto peace love and sunlight don't be afraid of the sun y'all don't be afraid of a little heat it's all good uh but yeah man i love y'all man be great today on this tuesday and um be safe man be safe hey yo be careful out there y'all real talk be careful out there man there's so much going on women 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 be prepared to protect yourself i'm going on i'm going on something else now be prepared to protect yourselves at all times these streets are dangerous and people are having respect to persons. It don't matter. Man, woman, child, girl, boy, grandmama. Obviously, we see that this world is just on some on some craziness, man. So I know y'all don't like weapons and you don't like the sound of it, the feel of it and all of that. But man, it's time out for that. It's time out for that. Um, and I say that with love. I'm not promoting anything. I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm not doing none of that. But I am saying protect yourselves. All right, man. Y'all have a great day. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. Be nice. Be nice. Be the reason somebody smile today. All right, peace. Love y'all.